Hey guys, it's Rosco, and for May the 4th, we now have our Rebels lineup. So we've got Hera and Kanan. She's Black Series. He's not Black Series, he was in some other weird small uh, container, if you remember from when I did the unboxing. But it basically is a six inch figure. Chopper Black Series. With, of course, Sabine and Ezra just casually just lying against them. We've got Zeb, of course, the Ghost. The Phantom, of course, Ahsoka, Thrawn, and more. All important side characters in Rebels over the course of several seasons. But yes, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Rebels. It was a little bit light when it started off, but I did really like how they introduced Ezra and Kanan and the Force. Um, you know, where he's looking over the balcony, he sees Kanan and turn around and all that sort of thing and the force team playing all that sort of stuff very well done and of course Thrawn was amazing Maul was great throughout it was great to see Ahsoka again and to uh, see these guys all grow and develop every single one of them and of course um, the final season Kanan's death and all of the last episodes with the wolves and the temple and the world between worlds and the final showdown between uh, Ezra, Thrawn and Palpatine, it was all glorious. It was some of the best Star Wars ever and I do believe the Clone Wars Siege of Mandalore is probably going to pick that from what I'm hearing about how amazing those episodes were. But yes, thoroughly enjoyed Rebels. It was great to see Thrawn being brought back into canon. Great to see Maul turning up, uh, getting up to his usual devilment. Him and Ezra had a hilarious relationship. And um, him and Ahsoka as well. It was great. And Kanan was excellent. I mean, I liked all of the characters in Rebels. Um, Chopper, brilliant. Another cranky droid. You can't have enough cranky droids. And uh, it was great to see the ghost not only in Rogue One, but in The Rise of Skywalker. Whoever's piloting it, I don't know. I suspect it is their son. I can't remember his name now. Um, but yes, that would be interesting to find out what happened there. And also, Ahsoka's voice is in The Rise of Skywalker amongst all of those Jedi at the end. So either she's dead or she's communing through the Force and she's still alive. Who knows? The obvious answer is usually the right one. She's probably dead. We'll find that out eventually, of course. But I'm sure it was a noble, glorious death in service of the greater good or whatever. But yes, there you go, guys. That is just a Rebels lineup for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for a topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.